Hey there, in today's tips and tricks, uh, we're going to learn about uh, how to add or how to uh, show fitting crown elevation or fitting invert elevation for plan view and profile view of uh, pressure network paths in a civil 3D um, using expression method. Uh, this method will be completely dynamic. Uh, there is no any manual inputs or manual edits. It's a completely one-time activity. So once you create the expression and then bring those expression values into the fitting label, so automatically um, the crown elevation or invert elevation will be calculated and also each time um, you change uh, you change the diameter for the fittings uh, like using swap, using swap option or whatever option automatically the diameter got updates um, the elevation for the crown and the invert for fitting will get automatically updates based on the expression with respect to a content catalog editor okay let's jump into civil 3d and then see how we're gonna deal with this in this civil 3d as you can see here the uh, the sample profile um, for the pressure network here so um, the fitting is already annotated um, this is a fitting label and uh, other labels here um, these are the profile station view labels so this this label shows the fitting top elevation and this is obviously the insertion point elevation for the fitting and this one here is the fitting bottom elevation okay the crown elevation field is already empty and the invert elevation field is already empty uh, so far we don't have uh, any default civil 3d um, contents to show all this information so first things first click on the tool space locate setting tab choose uh, fitting expand the fitting tree expand label click on expressions right click new uh, let's create the first expression. The first expression I would like to create for the crown elevation. Crown elevation. I'm going to add this uh, description. This expression is used to show fitting top elevation. Under this, under this expression field, I'm going to use uh, insertion point elevation first. Insertion point elevation plus open the bracket um, there is no any option of uh, pipe diameter here sorry the fitting diameter here a radius uh, because I don't know what's the reason of civil 3d is not showing that but uh, there are a few options available here but uh, I'm going to use uh, one of the option SDR uh, to show uh, the diameter content uh, obviously by default SDR will be zero or uh, the field will be empty on the content catalog um, so I'm gonna add the, the value uh, to the SDR field in a content catalog um, as a pipe diameter and then that's how automatically this expression will get updated in future let's see that later so divided by two half of the diameter bracket close the format result as elevation okay the same way I'm gonna create uh, one more expression that's for uh, the invert expression so invert value invert elevation under this description I'm gonna add um, this expression is used to show fitting bottom elevation under this expression field I'm gonna use insertion point elevation insertion point elevation minus half of the diameter that means I'm going to use the SDR value now SDR by 2 close the bracket the form is as an elevation okay okay that's now we, we created the expression let's bring this expression into uh, this fitting label select the label right click edit label style edit current selection under this contents for this crown elevation add crown elevation expression for the invert add invert expression add okay apply okay okay so far the SDR value um, as I said before the SDR value I'm not sure what is the SDR value on the content catalog editor maybe the zero or maybe empty uh, I'm not sure okay Let's edit the content catalog editor um, or define the SDR value 
so that the expression will get updates and the value will be automatically updates. Uh, let's see this uh, fitting uh, type of family first before editing the content catalog. That's a very important one. This fitting here, the part data, the family is uh, uh, is uh, elbow 11 pan 2 for degree push on ducted iron 350 psi. Okay, so open the content catalog editor. I click open location. I'm using Civil 3D 2019 here, so I'm going to use the 2019 Civil 3D content catalog editor. Open this. So I have seen that the part family is a push on, so I'm going to open the push on. Locate uh, elbow, expand elbow. I have seen that uh, the diameter, sorry, the, the angle of the fitting is 11.25 and uh, the uh, the category is 350 psi so i'm going to use 350 option here so where you can see here uh, uh, the 11 uh, 10 10 inch uh, fitting uh, and 12 inch fitting so on so here the various uh, number of fittings for the uh, 350 psi let's see this sdr value here the sdr value is shown zero so there are multiple number of fields, fields available here on the content catalog, but I, I choose this SDR value because this SDR value is already available under expression category. So I'm going to use this uh, 11.25 uh, degree band for the 10 inch. Uh, this SDR value is showing zero. So I'm going to denote this as a pipe uh, outer diameter. Open the, catalog, open the calculator. Uh, the outer diameter for this uh, 10 inch pipe is 13.63. Uh, so 13.63 by 2 oops 13.63 by 12 so far this is in uh, inches so I'm going to convert this to feet I'm going to copy this value double click this and paste enter oops okay the same way for uh, another diameter. I'm going to use the fraction diameter, so I don't go with the 12, I go with the 14 now here. The 14 inch diameter uh, and uh, external outer diameter is 18.12 by 12 is a 1.15. I'm going to use a 1.15. Enter. Let's see, let's do with the 12 inch as well. So for the Auto diameter will be very always 15 point oops it's a 1.1 1.51 1.510 1 for the 12 uh, for the 12 inch fitting the outer diameter is 15.83 well, divided by 12 it's a it's a one point so you know so much of precision so much of decimals enter I'm, I'm gonna save this uh, catalog file here it's saved so minimize minimize let's get into civil 3d here cancel this so now we have uh, changed the SDR value for the push on uh, catalog database um, so this expression should get up, get automatically updated so how we, how it will get updates entering command regional so still it's not updated so what I will do here, so I'm going to choose the fitting here. Uh, if the region uh, all command doesn't work, so select the fitting, right click, swap parts. I'm going to swap this part to different diameter, sorry, different angle, just, just to check. Swap part again, because it's a 11.25 it's a degree band. Okay. Ah, here, here we go. The crown elevation is uh, is updated with respect to the profile label here, where you can see here 0.57, and the bottom is 0.43. So this uh, this this uh, expression and this uh, label style is completely working for uh, this 10-inch fitting. Let's see uh, for the different number of uh, diameter. So I'm gonna select this. 
fitting go to network properties edit the path list I'm gonna add the different diameter here for the elbow um, um, the, the diameter is already added here let's change this diameter to uh, different one so let's change uh, this 11.25 to 12 inch swap and the size I'm gonna change this to 12 inch okay it's updated let's get into profile view oops we can see here the fitting is updated here the bottom is uh, changed I'm gonna drag and drop this uh, station label to exactly bottom of the fitting it's a 999.25 same way here the invert elevation is automatically updated so that's how uh, this expression will uh, works for the invert elevation or crown elevation each time you change or each time you swap the fitting parts to the various diameter um, automatically it will get updates one thing each and every part and each and every fitting should be added here that's your value the whichever the parameter you define under expression so that should be uh, updated here so in this in this way here um, different uh, or various diameter so not updated if, if I swap to 16 inch or 20 inch so on so the the information uh, the label will not get updated so far because it's not updated uh, so all this pipe diameter here the outer pipe diameter is written in an inch it should be converted into feet and then, and then add that value here in a feet format that's about this uh, tips and tricks uh, so hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and then uh, I guess uh, this, this will resolve the issue easily thank you